Hello, my vixens. How is everyone today? I um, decided that I, uh, I'm dropping everything on the floor. My camera's a little bit too close. Let me back that up a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, I went back and I watched some of my videos and I felt like, you know, a lot of them were just, you know, really, really long and I didn't want to always be doing that to you guys. So I decided in this video that I would go ahead and since I'm trying to do some holiday, you know, eye looks and so forth, I would go ahead and just pretty much get most of, you know, the makeup done and get one eye done. And then all I would have to do is just do, you know, one eye and that way it would try to condense the, you know, video down so you were not sitting here for, you know, an hour at a time. Um, I love watching makeup videos and, you know, but I realize not, you know, not, not everybody just really has hours at a time to, to do that. So anyway, um, I woke up this morning and was just kind of laying in bed. I wasn't really ready to wake up and I was on Pinterest and I was like looking around at some, um, I looks and some holiday things and I, I kept everything I kept coming across was all these um, blues and deep blues and deep blues and um, I don't know if, it wasn't for me what I was expecting you know I, I don't know what I was expecting when I was thinking of a holiday look I just, um, I just I was expecting something else but then I the more I looked at them you know I really liked them and I was like you know these really are really pretty and I thought about you know different things that you would wear on the holidays and I thought about some of the outfits that I have and I actually do have um, a, a couple of my um, outfits are you know like a really deep um, like midnight navy type uh, I have one dress it's it's really beautiful and um, then I recently bought a dress when my son got married I thought that it was black and when it came it was this um, just really really deep navy and it had like a sheer overlay kind of thing with um, just a slight little bit of iridescence to it. It, was, it ended up being really beautiful and um, so I thought you know what yeah I mean I think a lot of people do wear navy as a holiday time so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this as a holiday look with some silver. So I swatched all kinds of different you know looks on my hand and everything and so this is the um, look that I'm going to bring to you. I will try if I can figure out how to, you know, uh, pin the um, or attach the original look that I was um, going for to this uh, video. I will, and you know, my look isn't exactly 100% like the picture, but it it's very similar, and I almost like my interpretation um, a little bit better. But, um, you know, I added a little bit to mine. So, anyway, um, you were going to, definitely you're going to need some brushes. I, I used a lot of different types of brushes. I used a lot of flat brushes. Um, I used some small brushes. So, I used, um, you know, like the flat brushes that I like to use. I used several of those and then I used um, quite a few or two well, two or three of these very like small ones to get um, you know right down in the corner um, so and then you're um, oh, you're definitely going to need some blending brushes um, you're going to need a really really good deep waterproof black eyeliner and then I used a white eye pencil now I also did use um, my white jumbo soft crayon and, and I already have that on my eye um, but this is just a eye pencil so two different things so if you're gonna try to recreate the look this look that I did you know I always put this on I prime my eyes and then I put this on I feel like this really makes the color pop and um, if you try it, you'll see that it really it does. It really makes the eye color, you know, just really really pop. Um, and you'll see that you know I lined my uh, watermark, and it really 
it really makes the color just bring everything you know forward and gives you that just boom okay um so anyway i used a few different colors of blues um and then i used a really light bluish silver so everything everything was done with blues and like bluish silver uh, even this really dark 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 is a shade from the unique palette um, it's the unique palette number four I think yeah Moodstruck it's the number four palette and you can see that you know it's these last three so this is this really silver and then there's this bluish gray and then this one is a um, almost like a bluish black and that's what I used in here so um, the silver one is called honest and then this this one is called cheerful and then the very very dark one is called triumphant so it's a nice palette and one thing I will tell you I used rose water for every one of the colors and I haven't wiped my face off or anything and you can see you know I have absolutely no fallout um, if you look at these two colors on my hand right here, these are the exact same color. Without rose water, with rose water. That's why I always, you know, tell you guys all the time, um, you know, it, what a difference it makes. So, um, you know, you can, you can just see that this is just the dry powder and this is when I use the rose water. Look how much more vibrant. So, um... And then, you know, and then this is going to last. Oh, and, you know, one last thing that I did use, and this is just optional, you know, but I have this liquid silver glitter eyeliner, and I've had it for a while. I never have a call to use it, but I did use it. Um, I see a lot of the, you know, in the magazines at this time of year, you know, the girls are using it. And all I did was just kind of like go here and then underneath and made a line. But you really can't see this too much, but I think if I got in the right lighting, um, you know, in the, in the dark and like the lights were kind of flickering. I think you will see that a lot. Okay. So let's get into it. Like I said, I took my, um, I primed my eyes and everything. I took my chunky white crayon and this thing is very, very soft. I mean, you have, you, you really just like, I mean, I barely even touched that to my hand. That's why I love it on my eyes. You really just don't need hardly any, you know, pressure. It's really, really creamy. You could, I think I've seen this in like a vanilla color also, and that would be, you know, good also to use. And it just, it, it just makes the colors just so much more vibrant and it kind of gives your eyeshadow something to, you know, cling and hold on to. So, okay, so I did that and then the first color that I used was sort of like a dusty bluish gray color. And um, I took my brush, it's a flat brush, okay? And I always tell you, you know, it's rounded. I just got it a little bit wet with some rose water. And, you know, the rose water, it does not hurt your palate. So if you're, you know, if you're worried and you're thinking, you know, I don't want to do that to all my colors. I don't want to wet all my colors and get and get them wet, you know, they'll, and they'll be ruined. They won't. You know, like this palette right here, I've used rose water in every single one of these shades. And they're perfect. Um, as a matter of fact, I mean, just about every eyeshadow palette I have I've used the rose water really it's just the way I prefer to put the eyeshadow on but um, anyway it's 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 a personal preference I think if you tried it you know once I really think you would it would be like a revelation and you would like it um, I'm gonna try to maybe like back this up a little bit I feel like it's just kind of cutting my um, chin off a little bit maybe I can all right that might be a little bit better so I want to come in like you know close so you can see so I, did, I have color on both sides of the brush now and I'm going to only stay right underneath 
the brow bone, I'm going to stay right in the socket. And um, I've showed you this trick before. If you are, um, you know, doing your eye makeup and, you know, you're having trouble, like if you have a hooded eye or anything like that, you can take a hand mirror and just kind of put it like at your, you know, chin level so that when you look at it, you are, your eye is more down, but you can still see. It gives you all this area so that you can see so well, you know, and that is really good to, um, it's, you know, a really, really good trick and tip so that you are able to get in there and get the eyeshadow on really well. So I'm just going to, you know, start patting this on. Like I said, this color is kind of like a, uh, more of like a dusty blue type of a color. And I want to get this all over the lid. This is going to be the color that's going to let me build from this color. And I don't, I don't want to go, you know, up onto the, the brow bone. I just want to stay right into the eye socket area. Get a little bit of rose water on there. Just a little bit more color. You could, um, you know, you can do this look with any colors you want. So if you have a palette and it has, you know, shades of brown, shades of pink, you know, plums, you know, so um, whatever, you know, whatever colors that are your favorites. Um, like I said, as I was, as I kept looking through Pinterest and browsing around, these blues just kept coming up. All these you know, these shades of blue where I would see, you know, the eye look where they would um, do like a couple different color of blues on the lid and then like a really deep, um, you know, maybe like a black in the um, crease and like smoke it out and stuff. And like, it just, I don't know, it really caught my attention. I thought it was just really looked really, really pretty. Um, now I can remember back in like the very late 70s and like the 80s and stuff when, you know, women were doing blues and like they would put the blue clear up here. Um, I don't know, for some reason, all I can think about is like picture, watching like, um, like um, the criminal investigation shows or something and when they showed like pictures of John Wayne Gacy or something and he's dressed like the clown. And he's got like the big blue, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I know. Like, that's really a terrible image to have. But um, it used to be that, you know, the blue eyeshadow was just really taboo for a long time. Women did not know how to use it correctly. They didn't know how to apply it correctly. And it seemed like there was like one shade of blue, you know, like that really weird clown color blue. And then if a woman chose to wear like a, you know, more of a red lipstick with it, I mean, you just really, it was a bad look. <laughs> it was just, let me just say, it was just a bad look, you know, but now makeup has just come along so beautifully and so far you know it's it's just great you know you YouTube's changed the world I love YouTube I was trying to make a scarf for my fiance and he wanted a certain type of pattern and I could not figure it out I was like reading all these patterns and trying to do it and I couldn't figure it out 
and I went on YouTube and I watched a couple of videos and I ended up finding a lady that um, she just she had like an amazing video and like I watched it and it was just like someone like turned a light bulb on so um, it's just it's amazing you know how far we've come in, in the world of and things today so okay so I'm just gonna kind of like give that just a second to set and dry just a little bit and then I'm going to take a really small blending brush and I am just going to go right on the you know right here on the corner and like right here and just uh, take away the harsh edge of that a little bit So just remember, you know, when you're blending, you know, let your let your brush do the work. You don't want to go in and you're, you don't want to, you know, it's not about being harsh. If it's hurting your eye, then you're doing it wrong. And when you're blending, you know, you want to, the, the motion is to be, you know, you want to try to be blending up um, when you get to be a ma mature. Gravity already does enough damage. So, um never you know never down with any of your makeup with your lotion or anything no matter what you're doing it's never a downward motion it's up with everything and it's the same when you're blending and you can see i kind of came down a little bit and like if i bring the shadow down it's going to make my eye droop so you know you don't want i always have my towel so i'll blend a few strokes and then i like wipe my brush off so you just you know you want to you want to like blend up and in and then you just kind of, you know, wipe your brush off a little bit. All right, so that gave me a nice base. Now that is going to stay put. Like I said, I used the rose water. This is not going to go anywhere. This isn't going to flake off on my face. This is going to be, this is, this is going to stay put and give me a really good, nice base color. So. All right, now I'm going to pick up the next darker blue, which is gonna be like this color right here. Get my brush just a little bit damp. And again, I'm still going in with a uh, flat brush. These are my favorite. And I, I picked up, you know, a good amount of product this time, as you can see. So now this time I'm going to go, I'm going to come in, you know, on the corner. I'm going to go into the crease a little bit and I'm going to come here, kind of like I'm going to do like a halo eye. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get right here. And I'm going to let it go up onto the brow bone. And, you know, like I said, let the brush do the work. It's got that nice rounded. So it's going to let you. It's going to stay right there on your brow bone. If you just kind of dab it on there, you'll stay right where you need to be. You'll have minimal. you know, uh, you know, you weren't, you're not going to go way above or anything like that. So you, you'll, bo you'll be fine. You just, we're just going to, anything that we get way above, we can blend and we're going to be fine that way. So we're going to just, you know, what we're trying to do is darken up the crease, um, so that we have some definition. Okay. And then I want to get right here on the end. And just go just just on this very you know don't go too far over you just want to get just this outer corner of your eye pick up a little bit more color And when you're working with the rose water, you know, just take your time. When you first start to um, 
use the rose water it, it's a different feel and it will it'll take you a couple times to you know get the hang of it because you know it's it's wet so um it's going to take you a minute to get used to how much pressure to apply how much product to apply so we're just going to go right here on the inner part of your eye try to switch hands so you guys can see what i'm doing When I did this eye over here, I what I did was I came and kind of did like a triangle. So I just want to come up and then I'm going to go like right where the arch of my brow starts. And I'm just going to fill that in right there. And that looks like a lot, I know, but when we blend it down, it won't. It will, it'll really open our eye up. And it'll look really nice. I want to pick up some more of this original, this first dust color that I started out with. And kind of go back in and get this back on my lid. I feel like I pulled a little bit of this off and I didn't really want to. Sometimes if you uh, use, you know, a little bit more rose water than you meant to, you might accidentally, you know, pull off a little bit of your color. So be careful not to get your brush too wet or anything. Okay. Um, I one thing that I forgot to tell you when you I, you need it this is the original color that I started on the lid this the first dusty rose color and I'm gonna come down here on the bottom of my lid or uh, my bottom lashes I just want to kind of you know you want to blend it in so that it you know goes together You can see on the eye that's finished, you can just see just, you know, a slight little trace of that. And it just, it, it makes it come together. It makes it look a little better. So just use the, you know, the tip of the, um, of the brush. And that, and again, that's another nice thing about these types of brushes. You know, they're, they're so nice. You can use the flat part and put the eyeshadow on and then you can use the tip and you can get like areas like this. All right. All right, so I'm gonna grab my blending brush and we're gonna, we're gonna blend this area out because I know it's probably driving you guys crazy so I'm gonna keep make sure I have my towel and I'm just gonna start softening this up and I'm gonna blend it
I don't want to have too much of the dark up towards my eyebrow. I want to try to blend some of that out of there. But I want to make sure I still have a nice good coverage in my crease area. So I'm going to pick up that really, really dark shade that I showed you that was almost like that kind of deep, almost almost looked like a black color, so blue it was like a black. All right, I'm going to pick that up. Now on this one, I'm going to make like, I'm just going to do this outer, um, this outer V that they call it. So I'm just going to like come here and then right into here. And I got that really small brush that I'm using. I really like these small brushes. I mean, you could probably say they were like a lip brush. I really don't ever use them for a lip brush. This is what I use them for like small work like this. I think they're great for things like this. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just really gently come all the way across. The rest of my eyelid with just just what's left on the brush. You know, just be careful that you don't. You know, go up onto the lid, you just want to stay down by the lash line. And while that is drying a little bit, I'm going to pick up that really, really light silver blue color that I have like right here in the middle. I'm going to start right down into the corner. And then come up to the middle. Again, I'm using a really tiny, small brush. So I'm just coming right down in just the very corner of my eye. And then just right in the middle. Because what I'm trying to do is like break it up. Like I want to have like three sections. I want to have like dark, light, dark. So that, you know, it, it you know, gives you like the halo look. And I want this to look really prominent. And remember, this isn't like, you know, this isn't an everyday look. This isn't, well, I mean, I suppose you could wear it every day, but this is supposed to be something that you would wear, you know, to a holiday event. So it's a more dramatic look. We're going to go right into the arch of the eyebrow. All right, I'm going to grab my small blender and I'm going to go right into the crease there. Just soften that dark up.
And then this is the time where you kind of just take a look at it and say, all right, you know, is there anywhere that I need to grab a little bit more blue or whatever? And for me, I'm going to say, you know, I want to add a little, little touch of this right here. And I want to add a little touch right here, right back on top of the dark. Because it's, it's all about the blue. I want to see the blue. And the blue and the black, dark blackish blue are going to, you know, blend together. I'm just going to kind of dab a little bit of that there. And then I'm going to grab that original color that I started with. So then I'm going to, you know, just kind of blend that together. Don't forget to get right up underneath where you put your highlight at. Don't forget to blend a little bit underneath your eye. And then I'm going to take that real shiny silver color and I'm going to go right here in the corner of my eye. Down there a little bit. That's kind of sets it off and makes it pop a little bit. We're about ready for our eyeliner and for this to be a done deal. Okay. Cover my eyebrow a little bit. I was putting on my eyeshadow, I messed up my eyebrow. I'm going to use the white eyeliner and I'm going to go just on the inside of my waterline. You, you know, you can see the difference. Look how much that pops. I don't normally do this because I feel like it bothers my eyes, but for a special event, you know, a holiday type thing, wedding, pictures or something, I would. Make sure you get a pencil that is, you know, a, a softer crayon. And one thing that I always do every single time before I do this is I sharpen it and I feel like that kind of helps you you know that's the sensitive area of your eye so um, I feel like if you sharpen it and keep it clean each time it kind of will help you you know so that you're not getting any like eye infections or anything like that so um, you know it's not a proven thing but I don't know uh, it's just something that I do. <laughs> All right. I got this, uh, um, eyeliner. It is from Maybelline and it is so nice. It is just so, so nice. It is called, um, Lasting Drama and it's a waterproof gel pencil and, man, it, it is really just such a nice, nice, nice eyeliner. You really don't even have to barely apply any pressure and it just glides on effortlessly. Really glides on. Um, I have it in a couple colors. I'm trying to 
blend it in all the colors that I have. Well, okay. I guess I can't find it right now, but anyway. We're going to use this. Like I said, it is, it's a waterproof. If you're going to an event, you really want to be wearing a waterproof. Now you could use one of the um, potted eyeliners and that would be good too. If you know how to use them and you're good with them, you know, this type of an eyeliner, um, these are really nice too. And they're usually waterproof. And um, if you know how to use one of those, those would, this would, make this be really dramatic and you could do like a really nice cat eye and that would be a really really nice look also false eyelashes would set this off so nicely I keep wanting to grab some false eyelashes and I keep forgetting. Um, I really like to try the magnetic lashes. If anyone out there has tried the magnetic lashes um, and you, you know, like them or you don't like them or, you know, I'd like to hear how you feel about them. Um, I know my mom really, really, really wants to get a good set. But I would like to hear your opinion on the magnetic lashes and um, which ones that you've you know used and had you know good luck with so if you if you've used the magnetic lashes um, message me and let me know because I'd like to get some I'd like to try some so I'd like to know which ones are you know a good brand to get I need to get some so I can do a video and show you guys how um you know how I put the false eyelashes on. I actually prefer the single lashes more than I do the strip lashes. I think that they're I think they're actually easier to use. I think they feel more natural. But I haven't used the magnetic ones, so I don't know. Right. Some mascara on these top lashes. And then I'm gonna show you a quick lip thing and um Oh I gotta I gotta put the I gotta put the silver eyeliner on this side too. So I hope that you guys liked this video and I hope that maybe you'll give this um, look a try and like I said you could do this with any colors you know if you like the um, nude colors and you have several shades of like the neutrals and the browns um, I know that the copper colors are really popular right now so you could do like um, like a really deep you know copper color and some browns you could do a really light pink with like a deep you know burgundy in the um, crease you could do purples different shades of purples greens would be beautiful I saw a lot of greens I did I know that was one color that I saw a lot of was all different shades of greens um, I don't really I don't have greens that is one color that I don't have um, I have blue eyes so green eyeshadow does not look very 
nice on me at all. I have like one green. Look, I don't hardly have any mascara on this eye over here at all. But yeah, I have like one shade of green and it is like, um, kind of like a forest green. And I like it, but I have to wear some other highlight, you know, color that, you know, will pick up with it. So I would, I wouldn't have minded doing like a green and gold or something like that, but. All right, so let me do the silver so I can. So all I did was I just kind of went like right here. And then I went on the bottom. I just went up. That was really all I did. On the other eye, you can see it a little bit more. Alright, so that is that. Um, A lot of times if I'm going to do a haul, you know, go anywhere and I want to look, you know, more glamorous or something like that, I will do a, like a full lip. So I'm going to show you guys how I do the full lip. I think I've showed you in a couple of my videos before, but, um, I'll do, I'll do it again. Uh, just in, you know, in case this is the, in case this is the first time you guys are watching one of my videos, I'll show you again I'm gonna use this palette it's got some gold in it I'm gonna just use a little bit of just use a little bit of gold right here on her to highlight and like right here on the tip of my nose but I'm gonna try to just tone it down just a little bit and I'm gonna do it right on my cupid's bow And I gotta tone it down a little bit. The stuff is really pigmented. If you don't tone it down, you will look like a, <laughs> I don't know what, but. It looks nice in pictures, but in person, if you don't kinda like, tone it down it can be a little bit much all right so anyway um a lot of times like i said i like to do this fuller lip um i feel like my lips are shaped okay and everything you can you know you can see my cupid's bow pretty well but if you want your lip to be you know really plumped looking or whatever um, one thing you can do is just take your lip liner and I, I did already kind of line my lips a little bit, but um, I lined them and then I made sure that when I lined them, like I, you know, I went in and I'll show you what I did. I, I just, I just lined my lips and then I just took my finger and, you know, pulled the liner like onto the actual part of my lip. And then when you get to your cupid's bow, go ahead and, you know, go ahead and line, you know, line it out and everything, but then take your lip liner and go from this point of your cubes bow to this point and just draw a line straight across. So it's just straight across. And that's all. So you, and then 
what I like to do is just get a little bit of a darker liner. Kind of make that a little bit more prominent. And then don't line your whole bottom lip. Just get right here. Just kind of blend that in a little bit and you know just you want to stay right on the outer edge you don't want to make it too exaggerated you you know follow your lip line but just stay right on the outer edge So now you have the base of what you want to do. Now you can either leave it like that and just go in with a really shiny, shiny, like a gloss. Or if you wanted to do a lipstick, which I am going to do like um, a lipstick, I'm going to do it's it's kind of like what it is is this it's this thing by unique it's called they're they're bond bonds and um it's called lip bond bonds so it's kind of like like a chapstick but it has color to it so i'm gonna go just on the outer not gonna go in the middle Okay, so I just went on just the outer. Now, I'm gonna take that really, really, really super shiny. The stuff that I use is by Hard Candy. It's a plumping serum and it's like, a, it comes in a lot of colors. The one I use is, um, if I can even find the color. Swan Lake, it's called Swan Lake. And you wanna to try to keep that in the middle as much as possible and get right up on there. And this is gonna make your lips look really full and pouty. So that's it. This is the eyes. So I hope that you guys liked the video. I hope that you learned something. Um, I hope that you will try um, some of these holiday looks that I'm doing for you. Uh, I actually really like this. You know, I probably would not wear the silver liner but as far as the other shade i actually really like it i think with the right outfit this would be absolutely gorgeous um you could do uh instead of the silvery color you could do a pink color 
Um, you could bring in like a little bit of some purples with this. I mean, there you could do um, quite a few different, you know, shades with this. So I really like it. It's one of the looks that I think that um, I've done for a while that, you know, I've, I've actually really, really like it. So anyway, um, if there's any looks that you're, you know, interested in seeing, just message me and I will do the best I can to recreate them. Um, I hope that, um, like I said, I hope that you'll try some of these looks. So as always, stay positive. No one is um, able to bring you down worse than you. We can all be our own worst enemies. So try to stay positive, especially this time of year. Holidays can be depressing for some people. So, you know, if you can stay um, positive and stay, you know, uplifted and help somebody, you know, please do that. Some people are really struggling this time of year. And um, just sometimes the kindest word can really mean so much to somebody. Um, try to think about that. I know a lot of times when I'm in the store, I'm frustrated or something. Um, I try to think about that, you know, when I'm in line cashing out and um, <clears throat> there might be somebody behind you that just has like a couple things, you know, let that person go ahead of you. We never know what someone else is struggling with. So um, be positive and be kind, everybody. Be kind. So, okay. Um, wear pink. It'll always make you feel better. And... Um, Kiss some puppies. I love you guys all, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.